Hello and welcome back to the Jimmy Works channel. Um, and today we are going to be finally getting onto some rotary stuff. Um, pulled her out of uh, retirement the other day and uh, gave her a wash. She's looking good, but nothing on this today. We have finally got ourselves some rotor housings and they're brand new. They came in the box with the part number. Um, they're new old stock, they're, it's amazing that, I, that these were for sale, very expensive though, um, $2,000 a piece. But we have them, they got the old school logo, that's pretty cool, and for a bit of difference in, you know, instead of just painting it, which, you know, that's completely fine, I want to polish it, I want to polish finish on it, so today we're going to be polishing them. And before that, what we have to do is we have to sand it back a little bit. Before we start doing anything, I just got some nuts. I just need to remove these studs so we don't get them caught on anything and ruin them. And all you have to do to remove these studs if you don't have a proper remover is double nut it, tighten it up, get your spanner onto the inside one, and you just loosen it out. We have all of our studs out, um, it's time to get into uh, sanding. So first we'll actually, um, we'll just break clean any, you know, there still seems to be a bit of like some um, packaging wax or something over it. So we'll just a bit of break clean, a bit of a wipe down before we get into sanding. And I'll show you some of the sandpaper we're gonna use. Um, that's for later. Just gonna start off with some 240, then we'll move up into 360. 400, 600, 800, and then we'll go 1200. And then from there, we'll start using pads and polishing it up to a nice mint finish. Cause the, just cause of how odd the shape of this is, can't really use a block and sand it. So it's all gonna be finger. So bucket for the water, not in it yet. There's also one thing before I wanted to start sanding is um, in casting um, there's always going to be imperfections um, even in the final product little imperfections here that's like really sharp I don't know if you can see it but it's like really sharp sort of this line here a couple little bits and bobs here like little dings this sort of like thing here and yeah same on that so all I want to do is um, just grab a hand file and just file it back a little bit just so it's not too like harsh, but it won't hurt anything. So we're good. So I'll do that and then we can get into sanding. So we've had to clean up just a little bit of it, but it looks way nice now. It's not like some, you know, janky ass freaking, you know, casting market's gonna clean it up and you know, once it's polished, it's gonna be smooth. It's gonna be good. No fucking hard edges. I just went around and like anything that was like from casting just sort of cleaned it up. We are now ready to sand and this is gonna take a while. So before I started sanding, I forgot to um, mask, just mask up the inside just so it keeps it protected. And good morning, and um, we're on to a new day. Um. I didn't get much done last night because of, um, yeah, I couldn't be bothered. But ended up finishing off the 240 on both of these. Ended up just going back over and hitting the spots where I was using the Dremel 
with 80 grit just to get those scratch marks down and then just went over all of them with 240. Um, some places you can't get to, like it really sucks like in here because like, like it's literally the most odd shape to polish. Like this is stupid, I'm an idiot. Like, <laughs> but anyway, I'm done 240. Now we're gonna do, I think it's 360. And then we're gonna turn on. I won't try to bore you with um, me just literally sanding the whole time. So let's get onto that. Um, let's pop on some tunes and um, get onto that fucking time lapse. We have now completed the sanding up to 1200. Feels pretty smooth. Yeah, she's looking a bit shiny, but hopefully now we can, um, actually before anything, I'm just gonna brake clean it and air it off. So we've cleaned off our housings. They're all ready to go, ready for some polishing. And that feels like smooth it may not look it scratchy but blah 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 it may look a bit scratchy but um that's what we have these three things here for i mean if you did a really good job of you know getting it all mostly done you could probably just hit it with a quick quick buff and then a final polish but um even if the surface was like super smooth to start with that probably could have just not even um sanded i could have just you know hit it with a cut uh, buff than a polish or final panel polish but anyway let me explain to you these things so here we got a, um, a cutting um, pad which is to remove like all the scratches and anything on there and we use it with this sort of gray compound and then we have a, a quick polishing buff that we use with this brown compound and then we have a final polish, um, polish buff that we use with this compound here. Um, you can get all this stuff at your local Bunnings or probably hardware store, somewhere similar like that. Um, I'm also using a bench grinder, you know, as you can see, got a um, stone on it, but um, you can get the, this attachment at uh, Bunnings as well. Uh, same company that makes that also makes this um, I'll show you in a second how to install those onto this make sure you get the correct um, Thread th thread for these things they come in a variety for most bench grinders um, They are also a right hand and left hand thread on each. Well, this is a left hand thread right hand thread Most bench grinders are like that if not if you have a special polishing thing then so be it all right also um if you don't know what compound or what buff to use it with, there are things on the back, you know. But yeah, that's how we're going to use it. Um, another thing, never forget your PPE. So I'm going to be wearing leather gloves and um, eye protection. I don't have a face shield. It is recommended. Well, I do recommend using a face shield or something with this type of stuff because it can bite back pretty hard. Because um, Let's be honest, they are spinning at pretty high RPM and you're close to it, so it will hurt. Now to get this bad boy on the ear, all you have to do is put it on and spin it in the way that, um, so the, obviously this is a right hand um, thread with a right hand sort of wormy spindle thing on it. So we just hold it and push as we spin. Now this is a sort of like a clay compound or whatever they whatever it is and to when you put it on you just want to sort of put it on like that because this is spinning this way a bit like that um, don't put too much on because it might you know don't want to overdo it so I'll just show you how to put it on
So we've just done a pass on each of the housings with the cut and she is pretty damn shiny already. Let's get rid of all those scratches and stuff and all the bits I couldn't get. Now we're on to the stitch rag with a quick polish so hopefully she look schmick. So I just finished up the um, the first polish, and this is the first polish. This is how before it was the first polish. Look at that! It was sexy. It's obviously taking very long because it is labor intensive but this is the look I wanted to go with and I have to stick with it because I can't really turn it back now and it looks fucking good like it's gonna look sick so um yeah let's continue on now we have done the quick buff. Now we are onto our final buff and they are looking absolutely beautiful. A bit, a um, little bit rough in some places but I mean I don't mind. That looks good to me. It should look fat so let's keep going. So in that last clip you saw me doing the final buff to the housings and they are looking absolutely prestigious. So now because um, the buff wheels I was using were pretty, um, well they were big so I couldn't get into to all the nooks and crannies. So now I have to go over with a small buff wheel on a Dremel and get in all those nooks and crannies. So we've now gone through all the nooks and grannies. I mean, yeah, cr crannies. Um, so now we're just gonna go over with the, um, with a final buff one more time on the big machine and get a nice even finish over the whole thing. Um, some places I'm not too worried about, like from here down is literally gonna be intake, exhaust, like, so the intake covers basically from here to and down so like you won't see most of that um some of these places are like super hard to get into can't get into but yeah anyway that's good enough for me and i'm happy with that and we'll go with one final buff on the big machine
I think we can call it an absolute success because they look absolutely amazing. Just look at it. Look at it. Damn son. Look at the bling. Woo. Damn. There is a few spots where it's like, you know, a bit mm. but this is my first time doing it on this and this is difficulty like nine. This is like difficulty nine. Not easy at all. Like you end up like grinding or like sanding away at your fingers, polishing for a very long time. Like this is the third day. Not easy. I still have to do the front cover, but not doing that in the, this video. Or the next video. Don't want to bore you with literally like just sanding and polishing. That's not cool. Alright. But damn. Like that's hot. That is hot. I, I love it. That's gonna look so hot. Paint, probably end up painting like the inside of here, but damn, that's hot. That's hot. I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm so happy with that. Like, ooh, that's gonna be hot, but thank you. Um, remember to, if you wanna see more rotary content, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot more rotary content. Um, Probably have it on the road very soon, but we still have to build the engine, blah, blah, blah. A lot more, basically building, we're building the car now. Because I thought while we're in there, yeah. But anyway, you'll be seeing a lot more rotary content and a lot more stuff happening. So thank you and have a good one.